Hello and welcome to this tutorial about composite optimization, free sizing optimization, the first stage of the optimization process and the second video in the series about the skateboard tutorial. So free sizing optimization makes use of the element definition and varies the thickness of the element freely, completely freely in uh, contrast to the other optimization stages which we will cover later. Um, for that reason we will define a free size design variable, we will define responses in the model, objective and an objective and constraints for an optimization run. Okay, just to illustrate how um, this works here, you can see um, you have your basic laminate definition from the analysis and the output of the free size optimization is a varied uh, completely free, freely varied without any um, manufacturing constraints of each ply, something like that, uh, very good layup. Um, yeah, but you, you you can use some some basic manufacturing constraints in the free sizing optimization too. For example, you can define um, the complete thickness of the laminate should be, and we will define that, for example, 5 um, to 12 millimeter or something like that. Um, okay, now let's start with that. And for that reason, we go into our model and I will happily share this uh, .hm file with you. I maybe save that as a model. Yeah, analyzes. Um, then you can start right away. And to, to define a free size optimization design variable, you go into the optimization panel and press free size on the first column. There you have a panel where you can put in a name, for example, free size this var and choose a type. In this case, we want to use stack and choose the laminate we defined and press create. Now we have the laminate in the in a, in a design variable definition and can make use of the parameters I just introduced you to for example like uh, the the manufacturing thicknesses so if we go to composites we can go and press um, the different buttons here to enable the minimum and maximum thicknesses and the values are correct in this case and we want to choose 5 and 12 for the minimum and maximum laminate thickness and the other thing we want to do, we press edit around here and choose a balance option. Balance means that the thickness of two different plies, which are pointing in different angles, are um, coupled together. So they are the same. Okay, so the 45 and minus 45 degree is um, coupled together. And we press update. So important step of the process here to press update because, ha, and you see the minimum and maximum thickness got, uh, got away. So enable that again, press update. So now you have the definition properly set for the design variable. Let's just see if we did everything correctly. We have 5 and 12. We have this balance option. And now we are going to take um, to create responses. Responses are um, parameters of the model as outputs which can be um, used in constraints or objectives. So we want to create two responses. The first one is a simple mass response. So we enter our name mass, response type is mass, total, create. The second one is a static displacement, where we have to put the static displacement as the type and we have to define nodes. Um, I will just quickly hide the, the forces and point it right here so I can choose the nodes and those are the middle nodes we want to use and dot free is already correct so it's the set direction and we press create so those is the, this is the static displacement of all nodes selected in the set direction and now we want to define a constraint for those nodes. So we say that two millimeters 
max is the constraint for the lower bound of the uh, minus two for the response static displacement in the load step above. But load step two is the more critical one. So we are saying that um, all nodes have to not move more than minus two millimeters. And yeah, it's a bit tricky with the lower bound, but because it's a negative value, minus three will be lower than minus two. So we have to specify the, the, the minus two as a lower bound. It would be different if we had not dot three, of the degree of freedom three, um, defined as our static displacement, but the total displacement. So that would al always be a positive value and then would be the, the, up the upper bound. But in this case, it's the lower bound and load step we already selected and press create. We can see that in the model explorer, the responses are created and the constraint is also there. Um, the next and the last thing for the optimization here is the objective. We want to minimize the mass as already said here create that and let's just quickly sneak back if it's are correct yeah now at last we have to put in some control card values because as i said earlier this is the free sizing stage and after the free sizing stage comes the sizing stage and for this transition to be as much of um as, as much much easy as possible um, there's the option to output a .fem file, which you then can import as a foundation for your sizing optimization. That's a pretty pretty cool feature. So we want to enable that by clicking Analyzes Control Cards and go two pages to the right and say and enable the output the output uh, control card. The keyword is fs toss. So this is the keyboard for free sizing to sizing. Later there will be a sizing to shuffling optimization uh, keyword and frequency is yes. Okay, return, return. So there's some manufacturing constraints in here but we will not activate them yet. And we will just run that with our analysis. Um, maybe another, so free sizing. And I think memory default should be enough. This will take a little bit more time than a pure analysis type of um, calculation. But we can use the time and look in the output file and see what, what, what uh, is happening here. So here you can see the, the constraints and if they are violated and you can also see the compliance. Not a not nice feature for that. You can look in the graph and see your um, maximum constraint violations that we have in the second, in the first iteration. There was some some constraint violation, but then it went back to zero. So everything is set. Optimization converged. Feasible design. Okay, let's open the results. And the the output of a free size optimization is of course the element of thickness um, here. And that's the most important thing. So we, we go to the iteration five and now you can see the element of thickness in total, but also we can see the composite manufacturing constraints with uh, the laminates, um, with the different laminates, for example, or the orientation thickness I'll apply thickness as well. Yeah, that's what, what I was searching for was the selector for the different plies. So I could use here ply one and ply two. And I can see that the, the, the Coloring uh, is different. Apply three, apply four, and apply five, for example. So those are the different 
supply thicknesses and we can just compare that to our results here so just the same as we did before orientation thickness oh yeah it's the same thing but you can filter it with the orientation in this case you can see okay the new zero degree layer it's like that and the 45 degree layer it's like that okay now that's the free sizing optimization next video we will cover the import of the generated.fem file and an fem file and also the sizing optimization so stay tuned for that i thank you for your watching uh, for watching this uh, video and for your time and if you have questions comments what i could do better just point it out to me below this video and i'm i'm happy to see you back in the next video series thanks